What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, bring you another edition of Film Session with the Czar, where today we're going to break down a game of East Stroudsburg's defensive tackle, Brian Thompson. First, let's get familiar with Brian Thompson in our player profile. Here's a guy that was well accomplished in college, 32 and a half TFLs for his career, six forced fumbles, an amazing 16 block kicks, which is a school record, and 21 and a half sacks. He was also a two-time All-American and three-time first-team All-Conference. Now, I got the chance to see Brian Thompson live this year versus Westchester, and he also had a very good game and has a lot of transferable traits to the next level. Brian Thompson is a very good point of attack player. Being as disruptive as he is, you know teams will pay extra attention to him on any given play, and Thompson was often doubled, even triple teamed at East Stroudsburg, but was still able to have an impact because of his ability to fight through and beat double teams. This requires leverage, hand technique, and core strength, and as you can see, Thompson showcases all three at the point of attack, which is why he was extremely tough to block and highly productive for the Warriors. Thompson is able to shock, release, and redirect to the ball carrier or to the quarterback. Being technically sound is a testament to great coaching, which he was able to get a lot of at ESU, and also a dedication to your craft. Now, here's three good examples of good technical play from Thompson. Look at how he defeats this down block by the right tackle, takes away the inside shoulder by quickly establishing position, and then makes the tackle. Next, coming off the edge, he reads the run, closes the back door by squeezing the gap and then flattening to make the tackle against the running back. That's textbook right there. And also, finally, you look at the outside, on the outside as a five tech, he wins the hands battle, which allows him to hold the point, read the play, then he disengages and also makes a tackle. Thompson is one of the most fundamentally and technically sound defensive linemen in this year's draft class. One of the most underrated traits of Thompson's game is his hustle. Coaches preach all the time that hustle will get you anywhere you want to go on a football field, and Thompson is constantly on the move. Number one, East Stroudsburg uses him all across the defensive line. We've seen him line up as a nose, a one-tech, a five-tech, four-eye, even as a three-tech. And number two, he never gives up on plays. He's constantly taking the proper pursuit angles to the football. He's running down plays that are 10, 15, even 20 yards down the field, and he's relentless in his pursuit to the ball carrier. Scouts like seeing that from defensive front seven players, and you're seeing why Thompson was a two-time consensus All-American at the Division II level. And defensive lineman that never quit on a play will always find the football that doesn't matter if you're playing at East Stroudsburg or Alabama since they always say the NFL is a passing league I wanted to find out what Thompson brought to the table from a pass rushing perspective and Thompson has 21 and a half sacks from the defensive tackle position which is impressive in itself considering what one has to do or go through to get a sack now he checks off the box because a lot of what he does from a disruption standpoint doesn't always end up in sacks but still affects the play. Thompson alters throws and gets in the passing lanes which causes quarterbacks to not be as accurate on the throw and also he's constantly in the face of quarterbacks which forces them to get rid of the football quickly and yes he does show the ability to get to the quarterback and put him on the ground so the answer to the can he rush the passer question is a resounding yes. So in conclusion, Brian Thompson has very good versatile game. He was well coached at East Stroudsburg, played multiple positions, and was highly productive at each one. And the traits he showcased in his film session are definitely transferable, and I do believe he'll have a bright future as a pro.